Good morning, guys. Uh, it is Friday morning at about 7.30. Uh, you can see behind me, we got our New Mexico United vans and our big charter bus back there. We are loading up, about to hit the road to Oklahoma City. It's about an eight hour drive. Um, we're having to bus everywhere uh, for our road trips, uh, avoiding airports, uh, trying to come in contact with uh, the least amount of people as possible. Uh, so we'll be in that bus all the way to Oklahoma City until we get to our hotel. Uh, so next stop, Oklahoma City. Struggled defending these set pieces. This header is off the crossbar from Ryden. Follow up Ryden again. There's the goal. It's happening again. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came from the Here we're on the bus now. Social distancing in place. Music. Hello, this is Jonathan Bornstein. I grew up in Southern California. After high school, I went to Cal Poly Pomona where I played and studied there for two seasons before I was drafted to play professionally uh, on my first team, which was Chivas USA. I got called up to the national team. After Chivas USA and the five seasons I played there, I moved to Mexico. I played at Querétaro for four and a half years. I, I moved my family and I to Israel. We played one season in Israel. Full circle back to Chicago Fire in the MLS. Hey everyone, my name is Kaylin Ryden. I am a professional soccer player here in the United States. Uh, I play in the USL Championship over here for New Mexico United. This is my sixth year playing professionally. Back in 2015, I was drafted by the Columbus Crew. And then I played for Oklahoma City Energy. After that, I played for Jacksonville Armada. And in the last two years, I played for the Real Monarchs out of Salt Lake City. We won the USL Championship last season. Now I am a part of New Mexico United. Life has been uh, very different since the start of this pandemic. Uh, we had our first game against Austin. Uh, I believe it was March 7th, which was a Saturday. Then we came home on the Sunday. Uh, we trained Monday and Tuesday. And I believe it was Wednesday we came into the locker room and our owner was there and, and our staff was there and we got sent home. Jack Time Basketball was the first league who decided to cancel or suspend um, the rest of the season for themselves or at least for an intermittent time. And, you know, I just felt like if they're doing it, other sports are going to follow suit. I remember the, the first few weeks, uh, our staff was getting us, you know, 25 pound dumbbells and weights uh, sent to our rooms so we could continue to work out. Uh, we were sent a workout program. I was living in a, in a 75 story uh, high rise apartment buildings. And so I would honestly run the stair and the stairwell because no one was really using the stairwell. The team, Chicago Fire, did an extremely good job of providing us with tools. Uh, every week they would send out a schedule that had um, you know, exercise by exercise, Monday through Friday, what we could do in the what we needed to do in the morning. We wanted to get back on the field. We want to do you know, what we love to do, and that is, is play competitively. We ultimately decided on this, this tournament uh, that we, we find ourselves in at the moment. This is where we get taped and massages. Here are our trainers. Hello, Hillary. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. Tell us a little about, a bit about what life has been like in this training room bubble. It's been pretty good. Um, I think we have a good group of, of staff here that makes it fun, even mm -hmm. though we're stuck in this little bubble. The massage therapist, Oz. Uh, the biggest change is probably the turnover rate. So before it used to just be more of a one right after the other, but now there's a much stronger focus on cleaning and making sure that I'm clean, that the player is clean, mm -hmm. masks are worn. Team Walk. I'm here with the young rookie, Sammy Serge. How you feeling, Serge? Excited, man. I'm excited to get going. He's excited to get going. He's first, first time in Oklahoma City. He's excited for dinner. That's what he's excited for. <laughs> We're all negative for COVID, so what we got? As you can see, an American drinking mate is uh, not normal. There's a massage tool, as you can see, prepping for training. Body back, buddy. 
We got Captain. Boys, 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 boys. Yeah. How's it? Uh, how's it been being away from your family during this time? What, well, how's it affected you and training and all this COVID process? It's been hard. It's been hard, but I mean, it's, it's nice to be with the boys too. You know, and get to know more each other and spend more time with the with the team and being in the bubble. Uh, we expect to be battle. I mean, more more bad than than how it is. So we're having a good time. You know, here in Orlando. Uh, back in the hotel room, just got done with our pregame meal, which took place down in one of the conference rooms in the hotel lobby. Uh, it was our only meal of the day that we were together. Uh, so game days are definitely a, a bit more lonely now, but I was able to get out earlier, go for a little walk, stretch the legs out, uh, get some sunlight on me. Um, so in about an hour, we're gonna be heading out to the stadium. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm gonna be getting ready. So we have a team meeting. Got a team meeting room. Here's where the magic happens, tactically and technically. So I'm here with head coach of the Chicago Fire, Rafael Wicki. Well, it was a it was a tough time, obviously. Uh, I think the toughest was the uncertainty, not knowing when we can go back, when we can when we can be with the team again and work with the team again. And uh, the biggest or one of the biggest challenge was in the beginning uh, when we didn't know how long this is going to be, uh, and to make sure that the players are actually right, not the athlete, but the, the human being is right. All right. Hey, oh, okay. CJ, you're just walking out of the COVID testing. Uh, mm -hmm. Explain to it, uh, explain us a little bit about it, and okay. uh, also a little bit about what life in the bubble is here. Oh, whew, life in the bubble. We'll start with the test. Besides a little bit of brain matter missing from, from my, my head space, okay, pretty gentle, amazing uh, testers in there. The bubble, we're reaching a, a bit of a manic, <laughs> manic state, but I've got amazing teammates, amazing support staff, making it easier uh, on me. And obviously we're here trying to win a championship. That's um, the most important thing, right? Most important thing, man. And hey, thanks for taking the time. No problem. All right. Wear your mask. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.50 in the morning here in Oklahoma City. See our bus behind us. We are slowly getting loaded up. Um, had a successful night last night. 3-0 win against Oklahoma City. Very proud of the boys. Uh, this bus ride is going to be much, much sweeter heading back to Albuquerque. Uh, I'm going to run inside, grab my little to-go box of breakfast, and hop on the bus, get this day started. Definitely, my biggest challenge is missing my family. Uh, it's not easy. And I'm sure it's not easy for a lot of my other teammates. But at the same time, everyone who I've talked to is, is you know, welcome to that sacrifice as long as you know, we can have a glimmer of, uh, of games and, and some normality in terms of our profession, playing games and competitively that count towards something it is a welcome change to what we were doing for the, the three and a half, four months where we were only training in our homes and individually in group stages. Uh, so it, it's nice. All right, uh, we are back in Albuquerque. Uh, walking down the hallway back to my apartment now. It is almost 3 p.m. Had a long day on the bus, but we're back. I'm gonna get back to my apartment now, relax, get the feet up, have a day off tomorrow, get the legs recovered right. Um, wife, wife is gonna run in some errands right now, so just coming home to my dog. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys stay safe out there and have a good day. I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time.